Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I have here Dell Optiplex 7070, this is the small form factor. Gonna be upgrades for gaming, so I'm gonna switch to the other side. So what I have here, I'm gonna be upgrading guys, is the Solstair Drive, this is the Samsung 97 EVO, one terabyte, the NVMe. And HyperX Furry DDR4 RAM. This is 16 gigs total dual channel. And I'm gonna show you guys the video card I'm gonna be using will be uh, G4 GTX 1650. This is the low profile. I'm gonna show you. And it comes with uh, two brackets, uh, full high bracket and you get a low profile bracket for you can be using that in small form factor and to do remove the bracket you will need a pliers mini and you will need a mini Phillips screw, Phillips head screwdriver to remove the little you see the little screw right here where the HDMI is you're going to change the full height bracket it goes like this And what I'll do is put this away, then I'm gonna show you the other video card you can use. You can also use the GT1030, actually it's pretty good also. And this one is comes both with a full height bracket and a low profile bracket. And this guy does have a fan in it. Put this back. I'm just gonna use the GTX 1650. And what I'm gonna do is remove this plastic with a piece, the PCI Express slot, like that. Okay, the little tab. You press it down. It slides to the left. So what I would do is. You have to remove the front cover basil. It's got clips here, you press it down on your finger like this. It comes out. And it's got a cage here, so it's got it locked. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press it here to the right. It means it's locked, left means unlocked. You're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable from the hard drive. I'm using a two and a half inch, but you can use a three and a half inch here. Probably for extra storage, I'll probably go like two terabytes, 5,400 RPM. Uh, the reason 5,500 RPM is uh, just uh, runs really quiet, so it doesn't do vibration. I'm gonna put this back, but this has this bracket right here, plastic for three and a half to two and a half inch. You can install a two and a half inch and install a solar state drive here. It locks like this. The toolless design. And what I will do is remove this, lift it up like that, and you're gonna disconnect uh, from the optic from the optical drive here, DVD drive. So it looks like it's got only eight gigs of RAM. One stick. I'm gonna remove that. So first one you're gonna install is where you don't know where the first one is, the white one. Channel A. And the second one will be right here, the Y one. And it does have a number on it. One and the two. So I guess all I want to do is I'm going to install the SSD 
And this one, you see guys, doesn't have a screw in here and you probably have to buy that right here for the 2280. They sell online, I'll probably put a link. If you guys are asking if, if you can't get a one terabyte, probably go at least 500 gigs. I uh, recommend Samsung. Why? Uh, they're high price, but the low fail rate. If you're gonna go like a cheap solar state drive, at the high fail rate. So I just recommend going to Samsung. So that's installed. The memory install now I want to do is install a video card. So you're gonna lift up this tab right here on the left. And you're going to move two PCI brackets here, low profile. So the video core we can only install is right here, only in the top one. This is a PCI Express times 4. If you're using the GT1030, then you can install right here, PCI Express times 16, the bottom slot. Because this is using two slots here, you see that? And you were not able to install the blue one, only GT1030 will fit in here in the blue one. So you can install over here the times four slot, the black one. So the video card is installed. Also, what I was going to show you guys, so what I was going to do guys later, maybe the, I already have another video, is if you guys have the same computer, what you're going to do is remove the heat sink, the cooler, and reapply with uh, thermal compound, the uh, Arctic MX4, for just the lower temperature, because I'm not sure what kind of thermal compound they use for Dell, but you can just go and reuse the MX4 a lot better. Uh, the CPU I have here installed is a uh, i7-9700, it's an 8-core. And the power supply already upgraded to, uh, it's got a 240-watt. Because I was going to go 300, they have over 300-watt brand new one online, they were selling, but they wanted like $100 for it, it's too much. Because I could have just went with i9 CPU for the PC for $100 more, but I just went with i7. Because I already did uh, upload a separate video for the power supply upgrade. Because I originally had a 200 watt, but upgraded to 240. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to install it back. The cage. Okay, so this goes like this. Wires. Okay, so what I have to do is connect back optical drive. And this is, see the blue one? This is a SATA Zero. So if you're gonna be installing like a solid state drive, if you're not gonna be installing the NVMe right here, then what you have to do is you're gonna plug in, this is the main boot drive right here for the SATA Zero. You're gonna plug it into solid state drive right here. SATA 2, this is for the optical drive right here. The orange one. And it does have another SATA port right here and a Y1. So I just recommend probably just install only one hard drive here because the power supply and the heat. And it doesn't not have a fan here in the front, but you can install an 80 millimeter fan if you want. These wires go around here, and you gotta bend it back and install the front cover basil. You install like this. I 
What I have here is a 500 gig. This is for the extra storage. This is a SSHD. It's not gonna be. It's not a solid state drive. Just a solid state hybrid drive. It's actually 5,400 RPM. It's just running really quiet. But I do not recommend for for the main boot drive for the Windows 10. It's just too slow. But for extra storage, it's actually perfect. Install like this. You see right here, means unlocked, right, means locked. And you're all done. And basically, you guys, uh, if you can't get the screwdrivers, I'm putting the link, I'm using also the Stanley, the Mini. This has got the flathead and then the Phillips head, pretty nice. I'll put in the link. You guys, they sell this on Amazon. the side cover panel like this and you're done and here's what the back looks like the video card we installed got a HDMI port and DVI port you're gonna plug it in here your monitor so guys it's the end of the video thanks for watching bye